Jim Fosson with Legal Help for Veterans, and thanks for checking in. Uh, we get asked a lot of questions by servicemen and women on uh, can they get compensation for the uh, sexual trauma that they experienced while in the military. Uh, this is commonly referred to as military sexual trauma, or MST. In the civilian world, we call it rape. Um, and the answer is yes, there are compensation claims that can be made for military sexual trauma or MST. One of the problems you typically run into with MST is that it's not reported. And people ask, is that an impediment, me being able to prove uh, that I have a disability for which compensation should be made? And the answer again is no. We work with uh, servicemen and women uh, to get through the hurdle of not having uh, reported the MST at the time that it occurred. Um, we, we recently uh, represented a client, and part of the claim that we made, or the demonstration we made to the VA, uh, dealt with the fact that 75% of MST is acknowledged by DOD not to be reported. So don't stop just because uh, years ago you didn't report the MST uh, at when it occurred. Often it occurs because of a uh, uh, officer or an enlisted chief, somebody up the chain is involved in that process. Who are you going to report to back in the day? Um, one of the things that we did and have been successful in doing is when those situations exist, we submit statements from friends, family members, who maybe don't, you didn't talk to about the MST, but you at least, they, they can um, testify about the pronounced changes that occurred in your personality and in your behavior from when you returned from that duty assignment or that post. And that can be evidence of the MST. Similarly, we've made the argument in cases where somebody who's been a stellar performer in the service, all of a sudden they're their performance ratings drop out um, through the bottom, you, we can make the argument and demonstrate that here's where the MST occurred and it's evidenced by uh, their performance uh, in their job uh, went from being above average to below average. And that's a hard demonstration that something occurred and you, the veteran, are saying what occurred is the MST. Those kind of significant behavioral changes really are clear markers associated with the personal trauma of sexual assault, and there's some recognition of that in the Federal Register, and there's certainly recognition of that in a lot of the documentation now being produced by the Department of Defense. And, and we try to make the VA acknowledge and recognize that as well. So if that's an issue that you have, um, uh, we at Legal Help for Veterans uh, might be able to help you. Uh, check us out at www.legalhelpforveterans.com. Thank you for your service, and thanks for checking in.